Hey everybody, it's Nintokies, and today's follower drawing is going to be Donkey Kong for Twitch user Gohek. I, for some reason, have the weirdest time drawing Donkey Kong, and thankfully I found out that my big issue was his lower jaw. For some reason, every time I drew him, I just didn't really make his lower jaw or his chin as big as it is. Because, like, Donkey Kong's got that pistachio kind of mouth. But I always just like literally just drew a pistachio. I mean, maybe not actual size. That looked super weird. I'm definitely drawing that for this video. <laughs> but um, no, I decided to do uh, this video for Donkey Kong is because I have a little bit of a weird history with the Donkey Kong series, as it were. I mean, of course, we all know that Donkey Kong was the thing that like kickstarted Miyamoto's career. And if you didn't, congratulations, you know now. Um, I've probably played the original arcade version at some point. But, um, really, I didn't start playing Donkey Kong games until, like, the Wii era. Like, I played uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns by Retro. I mean, I my family had a Super Nintendo before I was born, but they sold it. So I never actually had a chance to play Donkey Kong Country on original hardware. Never played it on the Wii Virtual Console. I just instead got Returns. I was never a big retro gamer. That's probably why. Um, I played... Donkey Kong Country again, or for the first time, years, maybe like a couple years ago, there was like a kiosk at a mall, <laughs> and they had the, the, the classic consoles, like the little ones, I don't know if this was NES or Super Nintendo, but um, yeah, no, they had a Donkey Kong Country there, maybe it was one of those ghetto consoles, because I feel like the Super Nintendo Classic came out later than I remember this story being, but anyways, it was literally at a mall kiosk, I played a couple of rounds, I was like, alright, that's, that's pretty good, or a couple levels. But I never actually started a file on the original Donkey Kong Country until like literally like two weeks ago when Nintendo put it on Nintendo Switch Online. So I guess it's appropriate that I decided to clown on this Donkey Kong drawing and have him playing a Switch like this. I thought it was a, a nice little callback to his games though, because even in the uh, Return series, Retro went back and added the idle animations where he plays like the video game consoles. Like on the, uh, the Wii version, he was playing a 3DS and when they ported uh, Tropical Freeze to the Switch. I know they gave him and Diddy Kong like the two Joy-Con and they play on a handheld mode. Uh, this is a little bit of a weird issue. Um, Autodesk, if you're watching, for some reason, when it's open, when Sketchbook is open at the same time as uh, Microsoft Office, because I have a, an Excel doc with all my stuff in it, my clipboard got full somehow. I, I have no idea what the hell that was. But anyways, um, I also have the bulging eyes from the Donkey Kong Country games, you know, when Donkey Kong sees a boss, he has like a little scared eye bulging thing. I may not have played the games, but those games, a lot of rare, rare games to begin with are just so prolific. Like you just kind of come across them in one way or another. And you saw even with the, uh, the thumbnails, I was thinking about doing an intimidating Donkey Kong drawing. There were times where I've drawn him in the past where I really try to like take away from the cartoony vibe that he has, like his design, and I try to make him look intimidating, like a real grizzled ape. But uh, this time, I just went full clown mode, and I had a lot of fun with it. Which, <laughs> I guess it's appropriate. We've got Gangplank Galleon from Smash playing now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no. Uh, I should also go back. I have played Returns, but for some reason, I never beat Tropical Freeze. And I don't know what it was. I even got it for free on Wii U from when Club Nintendo shut down. I had to download for the game and I just, I never beat it. I played, uh, I think it was after I played Donkey Kong Country Returns where I played Rayman Origins and then Legends. And those have been like my end all be all platforming experiences. I love those games, but I'm not here to talk about that. Maybe if I, pl uh, maybe if I draw Rayman, I'll talk about that in another video because those games are near and dear to my heart. Uh, as you can see, I'm kind of, getting the uh i'm leaning into the whole monkey feet thing how feet are hands and i promise you i promise you i get rid of the strange lanky legs at some point in this drawing because right now they're looking pretty uh waluigi tier <laughs> they're like as long if not longer than his arms yeah there it is i, I tucked them in <laughs> there was something about those that was like just seriously bothering me i'm glad i uh did not release the final drawing like that for sure i also uh want to make a footnote here Drawing the Nintendo Switch is weird. I have tried it a number of times, and I think it's just the strange shape of the Joy-Con. Like, you look at them and they look really simple, but 
because they're so ergonomic and they're just so simplistic, like they're nearly not like curving with your hands. They just kind of have the edges conform to how a hand would sit on the shoulder buttons and how much of the like edge of that rectangle is shaved off. It's like a really strange shape. Like literally just like stare at the Joy-Con if you're not an artist and try to like in your brain put it inside a rectangle and just see how weird that edge looks. Just because like they really do shave off a lot of it. But anyways, um, when drawing this mouth, I had a lot of doubt about whether or not I should just make it like a one black value or if I should put any detail on it. And I think that's what I was staring at here is because in a lot of promo art and even on his in-game models, Donkey Kong has somewhat inconsistent teeth. And it's something you really don't notice until you finally do and then you can't unsee it. Like there's times in like Smash or Mario Kart where like he'll open his mouth and there's just nothing there but like tongue and like dark value. And then there's other times when he's angry and he's like gritting his teeth at you. And it's just such a weird thing that, you know, it's not a bad thing, I don't think. I was once told that teeth need to be 100% consistent, but I think that uh, in terms of like an artistic integrity move, you can go ahead and get rid of those because there's a lot of that in media. Like if you want to see another similar thing that Nintendo has done, Go look up a picture of Girahim from Zelda Skyward Sword and look at his ear. Notice how I say ear because it's implied that he has a second one under his hair, but like there's no way, no possible way a second ear could fit under the way his hair is, but they just kind of do it and they get away with it because the design works. And you know, once you start seeing things like that, you'll never unsee them in media. So do not be so worried about uh, extreme realism and consistency when you're designing a character. Sometimes you could just bend the rules a little bit where it works, but you know, you've got to use your own discretion on that. Maybe, maybe field the idea to a few friends before you fully commit to that. <laughs> right here, I've got the little details on the top of the switch, which I actually had to take my switch out of my dock and reference real quick just to get the order of these right. Like I've owned the switch since day one. And if I'm holding the switch in a dark room and trying to put headphones in, I still struggle finding the exact spot where the headphones go. I end up trying to like cram it into the air vent. Thank God it didn't break the switch in any way, at least not to my knowledge. Also, you can watch me make drawing that way harder than it needs to be. But thankfully, I get the uh, game cart slot thing accurate because God knows if I did that without a reference, then uh, that would have been bad. But also, I will again reiterate, and I've said it in several videos just because it was such a huge like hang up of mine for so much of my life before I took art seriously is for some reason I considered using a reference kind of like cheating myself I don't know why but if you're watching this if you're a beginner artist or even a veteran and you have like some kind of hang up with using something as a reference please I implore you uh, one of my graphic design teachers 3d design teachers to be more specific once told me he's like listen everybody in industry uses references no matter what they're doing 3d modeling 2d art anything they're using a reference and it's scientifically proven well i don't know if it's like a scientific thing i don't know if they uh what was the guy's name salem he's got years of research <laughs> I, I could have been wrong i'm gonna fact check that before i put this video up but anyways um research shows that when you have a reference to something even if the design is completely unique it will always look a lot more grounded because you're able to uh parse those small details that your brain may not have picked up on when you weren't like analyzing the object you're thinking of which is why, you know, you see these videos, I've got the character kind of chilling in the background while I draw them. And I always do that first, you know, sketch. And I've mentioned it before, and I mention it every single time I put out these videos. I always try to reference, like, an official version of a character before I draw them, even if I'm familiar with them, just because there are things that you just kind of overlook, especially when you're drawing casually. And it is doubly important, even if you think you know how to do something, to always revisit it from scratch when you're trying to create something in an official capacity. I mean, not that these drawings are official. I doubt, like, you know, Shigeru Miyamoto looked on Twitter and found the Nintokis with, like, 100 followers, and he's just like, hire this man! You know, <laughs> Nintendo, hire this man. Oh, Lord. Uh, maybe. Maybe one day, but not today. <laughs> Certainly not when I'm drawing stuff like this. <laughs> I actually briefly considered uh, drawing, like, an actual game on the switch playing but i opted to not because i would probably overcomplicate and already uh i don't want to call this a complicated drawing but it's got a degree of simplicity to it that i didn't want to uh, cloud 
You can even see it here with the hatching. I just wanted to do it very uh, conservatively. I didn't want to go crazy and render out all the fur, as I've been tempted to do in the past, as also seen with the uh, the cuckoo from the Young Link drawing. And I think the drawing turned out better for it. Maybe in my spare time, if I want to practice it, I can go back to this drawing and uh, show you guys what I've done. But for just a, a Twitch drawing, I, I can't <laughs> can't be doing that. I do a little bit of it, but uh, not the entire thing. But I think that would this drawing especially would benefit from it. Which also reminds me, with Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, I'm so glad they rendered DK's fur. Dude looks so fluffy. And I almost wish they had that in Smash, but... I feel like the Switch would probably like buckle under pressure if you put like more than one DK on screen. <laughs> I mean, it's impressive that they got Smash running as is to begin with, but uh, anyways, all this talk about rendering, we're coming up to the end here. We've got our final boy enjoying a Switch. Let's just assume he's playing Donkey Kong Country on Nintendo Online or Super Nintendo Online. What do they call that app? I have no idea. Where would I be without my patrons? You guys know the deal. Deanna, Tiana, Elena, thank you guys so much for supporting me. If you guys want information about my Patreon, you can get that in the link below in the description. I've got plenty of stuff on there that people haven't seen yet, and it's like a drip feed on the rest of my social media platforms, which you could also see right there. I'm going to get back to work on other videos, and thank you guys so much for watching. Take care of yourselves.